Mixing music into your live stream or your YouTube content can be a difficult task to wrap your head around. So I decided to make a video specifically just for that. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get that radio-esque presence on your stream. Um, there's a there's a cool trick that most radio stations use when speaking um, over the microphone or over music on the radio station, and that is called vocal ducking or side chaining. It sounds something like this. I know you've heard it before. This is 6969, your MOM radio live with 69 songs in a row. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a vocal ducking or side chaining in OBS so that your music kind of flushes out when you're speaking um, and it, it, it makes your vocals the main presence on the stream and overall just calls for a nice mix, making your stream a whole lot more professional. There are definitely all kinds of different audio tricks that you can bring to your stream to bring a more professional appearance to what you got going on. If you have any questions after watching this video, feel free to hop in my discord server we've got tons of smart dudes in there that are ready to help you and if you like content like this do me a solid hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this the first step when mixing music into your live stream is separating all of your audio sources within obs if you haven't watched my voice meter setup guides i highly suggest doing that now because I won't be able to cover the entire setup process for separating audio sources in this video. What you'll notice in this video is I have my microphone, my communication audio, browser audio, music audio, and desktop audio all separated within OBS. This allows me to apply certain filters to each one of those sources so that I can have a consistent stream of audio every time I'm live. Without having a dedicated music audio source in OBS, you won't be able to utilize this trick. So what I suggest doing is using something like voice meter to route the audio on your desktop into OBS so that you can separate those audio sources. I will link a voice meter potato guide in the description below. If you follow that voice meter potato guide, you will have something set up similar to what I have here. I have my microphone, browser, desktop, communications, and music all separated within voice meter. And that allows me to route that audio directly into OBS. As you can see here, I have my browser audio, communication audio, desktop audio, microphone audio, and music audio. And I have separate filters and different things going on for each one of these audio sources. So I'm able to have what I said before, a very consistent and professional stream this way. So definitely worth watching that voice meter potato setup guide. But if you have a different way of separating your audio sources, that works too. So in order to set this up, we need to set up a filter on our music audio source. The way we can do that is by hitting the cogwheel on the audio mixer section or just right clicking the source in your sources and then going to filters. As you can see here, I have several things on my music audio. I have a limiter, multi-band compression, compression, the sidechain filter, desktop sidechain, and a gain filter, and then another gain filter for when I want to crank the music up. I have all of these audio filters in place so that my music audio hits around negative 30 decibels on the stream. I have a limiter set for negative 25 decibels with a multi-band compression to kind of actually just give like a bass boost to the music because I like the bass. And then I have a compression filter set at a threshold of negative 25 decibels with a ratio of 3.5 to 1. This is to help with the dynamic range of the music so that you can hear it even though it is at lower volumes and then i have a side chain for my microphone and a side chain for the desktop audio so that when my game audio increases in volume it will decrease the volume of my music just a little bit so that that game audio becomes the main focus on the stream and then last but not least i have just a slight gain adjustment this last one here is just so that i can keep that audio where I want it. Sometimes I make minor adjustments to the volume level um, and the way I will do that is by adjusting this gain filter here. But the way you set up a sidechain or a vocal ducking for your music is with a compression filter. A sidechain is actually just a compressor um, except for it is ducked against a different source. So in my sidechain filter here, what you can see is that my, my sidechaining source is my microphone source. 
and what is happening here is this music audio is going to get compressed down based on this settings here um, according to the volume or the audio that's coming in on my microphone source so the threshold is set to negative 30 decibels when my microphone audio exceeds negative 30 decibels it's going to compress the music audio at a 1.5 to 1 ratio so for every 1.5 decibels that exceeds negative 30 decibels is going to compress that music audio down i do a very very small ratio here i only want the music audio to be compressed down um, only like three decibels or so just a slight adjustment in the uh, volume level and then another thing you want to make note of when setting up a sidechain for your music is you don't want a hard attack and a hard release it sounds uh, very bad when that audio just gets cut off and then also when it just immediately turns back on so you kind of want it to fade out and fade back in and the way you do that is by having a more uh, a less aggressive attack and release time so my attack time set to 300 milliseconds and my release time set at 804 milliseconds um so that means when i start talking uh when this side chain is activated it takes 300 milliseconds for it to start compressing so it'll kind of fade in there and then once uh, i'm done talking it will release that compression over 800 milliseconds of time if you're interested in learning more about the compression filter, I have done a video on the compression filter. I've done several videos on all kinds of different filters. I highly suggest you check them out so you get a better idea of how these parameters work. The biggest thing to keep in mind is you don't want a ton of compression being applied to the music. You don't want the audio to drop, you know, like 18 decibels or something ridiculous. Toy with these settings, get it in a position that you like. Like I said, I have my music audio sitting right around negative 30 decibels on the stream, so it's already fairly quiet. So I don't need a huge side chain there. But if you're having your music audio hit like a negative 18 decibels, you might want to compress it down all the way to, you know, negative 25 or negative 30 decibels when you're speaking. Might be a bit extreme, but you know, just toy with the idea, toy with the concept, find something that you like, right? There's not like a perfect way to do this. Just because I have mine set up this way doesn't mean you need to set up yours exactly the same. But uh, this is a very useful trick um, for flushing out that music audio and making your vocals the primary focus of your stream. I actually apply a sidechain not only to music audio, but I do the same thing for my desktop audio. So my game audio, when I'm speaking, the game audio just decreases just a little bit so that I maintain the focus of the stream. Anyways, that concludes this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to start making more of these quick tip kind of videos instead of doing the full on in depth of like setting up every little detail. I'm going to start throwing some easier videos at you guys. It's certainly easier on me uh, for the creation process. Uh, I don't have to stress so much about the, the minute details of the video. And I'm sure you guys will appreciate that anyways. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments below. If you like content like this and you want to see more content like this, my channel is filled with a ridiculous amount of valuable content. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video because it really helps me out if you're interested in funding this channel and funding my discord server check out my patreon at patreon.com slash the francois again thank you so much for watching and i will catch you next time peace